Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain using Entity Framework Code in ASP.NET Core Console application, how to display records from SQL Server Database. So here we got the final output display student table and below that we got the table student ID, student name and student email ID. We are fetching records from this SQL server table. These are the table is displaying in this console ASP.NET Core console application on the command prompt. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before creating a new ASP.NET Core console application, first we'll check the table in SQL Server Management Studio. I just logged into my database and notice the table name is a student. Right now this student table contains three columns, student ID, student name and email. Now my aim is I want to fetch these records from this table and display on the console application in ASP.NET Core using first entity framework code. So let's add the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new console application of the .NET Core. I have selected that one, then click next. Let's give the project name is, uh, project name is Core Console App, Console App, Fetch Records. Click create and the project is created successfully. Right now in this project we have one dependencies folder and one program.cs file which is this one. Now here when we are dealing with any particular database we require that necessary DLL packages. Here I want to communicate with the SQL server database. So first let's install the necessary entity framework code. DLL libraries for SQL Server. Select the application name, right click the mouse, go to manage network packages, select that one, then go to browse and search for entity framework. And here we got all the entity framework. And I'm looking for this Microsoft.entity framework code SQL server. Let's select that one and click install. Click OK. Let's accept the license. I accept. And here we got the green button control, the download button control, which means our package, this SQL server, is installed successfully. Let me expand this dependencies folder. Notice in this dependencies folder there is a packages folder. When I expand that one, see here the entity framework code.sql server. The version is 3.1.6. Now we require the next next package is a tools package. So I'm selecting the Microsoft Entity Framework Code Tools. Click install. Click OK. Let's accept for this also license. And here the tools also install successfully. Let's minimize this packages folder as well as the dependencies. Now let's close this Nudgeek package window, which we don't require anymore. After that. Now let's add a new folder, models folder to add our POCO classes. Select the application name, right click the mouse, click add, select new folder. The folder name is a models and now in this models folder, I'm adding one simple class. Right click the models folder, add, then select class. And the class name is student class add and here we got our student class now in the student class i'm defining the properties so those properties are from this table column names so in the student class let's add the method key alt enter so when i press alt enter i got some suggestions here we need to install this add this namespace system.component.model.data onations so add that one so once we add this user uh, so once we add this namespace then let's create the properties prop double tab which will create our property 
the integer type the default type is integer and the property name is a student id prop double tab and the second property name is a string data type which is a student name and the third one is a prop string data type and this one is a email in our table we have student id student name and email so i have created three properties for those three columns so after creating the table properties now the next step we require the application db context class so for that let's add select the console application right click the mouse add new folder and the folder name is data context enter now in this data context i'm adding one simple class which is a db context class right click the data context folder name add and select class and selecting the class is the class name is application db context enter so here we got our application db context class now here we got our application db context class now in this application db context class we'll configure our data source connection string with the help of db context so let's inherit the db context this db context is belongs to this namespace microsoft.entity framework core so once we add this one see automatically this package this namespace is added after that i can able to uh, configure my database connection string so protector override void on configuring configuring db context option builder let's use the options builder now in this on configuring method i'm adding um, options builder dot use sql server between double quotes so notice here the use sql server method takes a string parameter which takes a connection string so let's add our connection string between these double quotes to get the proper SQL server connection string, notice the server explorer, open that one. In the data connections, I click that one, add connection. Let's add our server name. My server name is this one, desktop. Let's add that one, desktop, iPhone, P B B U D O M. After adding the server name, now here I will get the databases of this server. Oops, here is the wrong one. There is no D here. P B U D U M. Now we will get the current database. After that, click text connection. It succeeded. Okay, okay. And here the current database is added successfully. Notice here in the properties we got the connection string which contains the data source. Let's copy the data source and paste here. And with semicolon. Let's add this. At the red symbol and now in the same class I'm adding uh, the DB set class now in the same class I'm adding my model class also public DB set in this DB set I'm adding the T entity type the T entities we are getting from the student class which contains the properties so we require uh, to need to add this console application fetch records dot models folder now i can access the student class from this models folder student class then let's create the student display is a property name get set that's it now let's write the logic to fetch the records from the database open program.cs in the class program uh, first let's import the namespaces using my application name dot i'm adding the models folder and using we require to add this data context folder also data context then let's create a function here that function name is a static static void 
student details student table student table now in the student table I'm adding using variable I'm declaring a variable called uh, results is equals to new application db context I'm adding this db context which contains my connection string let's open the curly brackets after that this one is a class no now we require the student class also so so let's add the list class in this list class i'm adding the type of elements in the list we're getting from the student class student class st is equals to a results dot the results dot i'm adding here the student display the property name student display dot to list method now after that i'm implementing for each loop to fetch the records because we have more than one records so for each loop student class st object in i'm adding this object now let's display the records using console dot right line Doing double quotes I'm adding the curly brackets the index value in our properties if you see we have three properties so we require the index value is zero is for student ID one for the student name and two for the email comma so student object dot student id comma student object dot student name comma student object dot email semicolon and this function return that's it now let's add the student table function here so instead of uh, console dot write line here i'm adding display student display student table table, table. console dot write line console dot right line press enter to exit semicolon that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results let's run this application oops here we've got another invalid object in student student display what's our table name is the student object sorry for that let's have a student display it's not student display it's a student object we need to add student object that's it let's click on the list of the browser that's it let's stop this debugging again run this application see here we got the student table display student table press enter to exit what i'm doing and uh, this student table is not here after that let's add the background color also console console dot console dot background color is equals to console color dot background color i'm giving white and console dot four color console dot console dot foreground color is equals to console color dot black now let's check the final output
see here we got the final output display student table and below that we got the table student ID student name and student email ID we are fetching records from this SQL server table these are the table is displaying in this console ASP.NET Core console application on the command prompt that's it press enter to exit